So in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a TechLink input into your Unreal Engine 5 project to show uh, any feed that you feed to your Blackmagic TechLink. Um, I have a TechLink 4K Pro in it, and I always check with the Media Express if the feed is actually coming in and if the sound is coming in. Um, so yeah, make sure to close this before you begin, because uh, sometimes, depending on how you set it up, you can only use the decklink input once in Windows. So first what we're gonna do is go to plugins and look for the Blackmagic Media Player. And make sure to restart your engine. And now we can start adding the uh, decklink source. So if we right click, go to media, and we do a Blackmagic Media source. Uh, and of course we need to configure this. So we're gonna do the decklink 4K Pro. I'm sending a 1080 signal at this point. And I'm pretty sure I'm sending four, uh, 5994 apply we're gonna capture audio uh, I'm only sending a stereo pair on the STI and the rest we're gonna leave for now uh, next up we're gonna add a media player because we of course need to play out the media um, we're also gonna create a media texture makes it easier later and we're just gonna call this media player and now when we add, open it can actually see the source and we can also hear it so now let's uh, put it in our world so we're gonna add a shape let's do a plane and I'm gonna rotate this I think I'm just gonna quickly set this up Sorry for that, forgot how it actually was set up. But here we have a plan, we can see it as a, uh, where we're gonna play the media texture. So if we're gonna drag the texture onto it, it will create a new material. And now if in the media player, we're gonna play it, you can actually see it in the world. Um, you can do a lot of things, you can change the material and how it looks. What I normally do is set a missive color uh, for... Oop. Quickly save. Uh, so it will... Uh, emit like a TV in the world. <laughs> Make sure to play with the settings so that you uh, get what you want. Next up, of course, we need to make sure that it plays when we actually play the engine because now it just has the media player but it needs to say that this is gonna play so these two um, are here because I just saved just in case and how to start to play out uh, the actual media texture or material um, you can do it two ways you can do the level blueprint I normally uh, try to avoid that uh, because with an actor I can actually reuse it in different levels so we're just going to create a actor. Um, and then we can, in the event graph, we can start laying out the blueprint. So let's start with making a variable for the media player. So let's call this media player. And for me, it's already selected, but if we go here, media player, player media player, object refer reference, and we need to compile to actually select the media player here. I only have one, so let's select that, compile again, and let's drag that in. 
get media player. So what we want to do is when the level starts, or when, in this case, actually the actor starts, we want to look for open source because we need to tell the media player what source it needs to play. Maybe you have one deck link, maybe you have videos. So let's make sure that we select the media source assets. Again, in my case, only one. And when this actor starts begin playing, we're going to open the source and with the source open, we actually need to play it. We're going to compile, we're going to save. And now we're going to drag the actor in, otherwise it won't activate. Now if we press play, we'll see that it plays. The only thing we don't have at this point is sound. While I'm actually sending sound with the media player source, the texture will only output the actual video. So let's uh, start with that. So getting sound in from the media player is pretty easy. We're gonna change the actor that we just created. We're gonna open it. We're gonna add a media sound. And now we have the sound in the same location as the actor and within the media sound, we're gonna select the same media player as that we're actually using to play the deck link. Uh, here you have all kinds of settings, we won't go through them, but you can make it spatial sounds, you can make all kinds of different um, things with this sound to do. Uh, for instance, if you have a TV in your level and you only want to, to have the sound coming from the TV, you can use these settings, but I won't go over it in this tutorial. Uh, so we're going to compile, we're going to save, and now when we actually play the level, you will, he you will hear the sound of the uh, media player and you will see the actual video, or in this case, the deck link input playing on your plane. And that's the end of this short tutorial, how to get the deck link into Unreal Engine 5.